All right. Well, today we are looking at a different kind of radio. This is something I'm sure a few of you have seen out there, but for the others who haven't, let me explain what this is. This is a software defined radio, an SDR. This is a receiver. It doesn't transmit or anything. But uh, what it will allow you to do is hook to a computer or a tablet or a phone, essentially turn that into a nice little SDR radio package. Now, this one was about 35 US dollars. I like this brand right here. If you go to this website, you can get this very one. Um, this is the RTL SDR. It seems to be the most compatible with the most things that I've tried it with. It comes with this, it comes with this little cheap antenna, which actually works pretty good. On the end, you'll see a, a, an SMA connector for the antenna. And it comes with uh, a short pigtail and also an extension. So if you want to do uh, something a little bit further away with the antenna, typically uh, you want to put them out like that and uh, have it going vertically. That's how I've had the best results. Then, of course, these extend out on either side. So I guess today, just to give it a, a little, little bit of a demo, uh, we'll try it on a tablet. Now, I've, I've been able to get this to work on a Mac computer, a PC computer running Windows, and uh, Android tablets and phones. So uh, today, let's just try it on an Android tablet and see what we get. Okay, and for the software, there's there's quite a bit out there, but the, the one thing you will definitely need is this one right here, the RTL SDR driver, and that is so the tablet knows how to communicate with the stick, and then you need a way to plug this uh, larger USB connector. This is an, a USB-A. Uh, this is an older style tablet that uses micro USB. And uh, there's some out there that use USB-C, which is the newer standard. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use an adapter. And then I'm, we're going to try uh, some of this software out. Uh, two of the ones I've got, both are free. SDR Touch and RF Analyzer. Those are really good. So uh, let's give those a look. All right, to plug this thing in, this is what I'm going to use. It's a, it's a Y splitter. Now it's got a male micro USB on one side, female micro USB on the other, and then female USB A, which is that larger connector. So I'm going to connect uh, the dongle into here and it just connects right under there. And then uh, you're one, you might be wondering what's the second one for. This one will go into the tablet. This one is so you can actually plug in power to this and it will keep your tablet uh, powered while this is going because uh, this is actually powered by the tablet so it's going to drain your battery a little faster than the tablet would drain normally and uh, we're going to just go ahead and plug that in let's see and this is a very cheap tablet i got it brand new but i got it uh, where it was already several generations old but as a result it was only thirty dollars now, as soon as I plugged it in, it spawned the uh, the software. Now, I don't have the antenna plugged in, so let me get the antenna plugged in. And we'll start this over. All right, so I don't have this uh, hooked up in the ideal scenario because, you, as you can see, the antenna is just right here, and I don't have it extended, and I don't have them pointing opposite directions or vertical. But uh, for the purpose of this demo, I'll, I'll have it where we can see everything in frame here. So as soon as I plugged in the dongle to the tablet, uh, it automatically spawned the software. And uh, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And it kicks off the driver. Now what I'm gonna use is uh, this little handheld, just so we can see if it's actually receiving anything. So this is a GMRS radio. I'm on channel 15, uh, so that's 463.55 megahertz. So let's just key it up and see if we see anything on the, uh, on the screen here. And you can see that it does. Also, it's uh, really nice because it's got this waterfall effect going. So if you, you know, you, this is the channel that you're looking at, but 
if somebody's transmitting on channel 13 or 17 or anything nearby, you'll be able to see it and you can actually flip over to it, which is nice. So it's not only where you're at, which is the center point right here, but you can also get a, an idea of what's going on in the frequencies around you. And I'm on the demo version, so uh, the free version only gives you the waterfall for a certain amount of time. And uh, as you can see, it's loaded by demo mode. But if you just want to listen to stuff, yeah, it's fine for that. For me, uh, let's, let's jump around and look at something else on it. Okay, let's go into here. We'll go into broadcast FM. And this does AM, FM, uh, upper side band, single side band, things like that. And you can tell it uh, what frequencies you want to look at. If you have a certain thing that you're wanting to look at on the spectrum, uh, you know, you're better off putting a, a purpose-built antenna on there. This one's kind of a general antenna. If you want to listen to a certain thing, you can you can pick an antenna that suits it. So you can change how much of the spectrum you're looking at, how wide your bandwidth is, and this shows the frequency you're, you're at. All right, so we have found a channel at 92.125 megahertz. Right. You can see the specs in there. This is local broadcast FM radio. Picks up a little bit of everything. Uh, you can get the waterfall there if you want to fine tune your, your frequency there. Lazy to be tuning. I'm in a basement, so the shit got really poor down here, but it still works pretty good. Let's uh, let's try one of these other pieces of software that I got off the Google Play Store. So that last one we was looking at was SDR Touch. Let's look at uh, RF Analyzer. This one's pretty neat. Let's see. Uh, you got to hit the uh, the little play button, which is now turned into a pause. That turns the radio off and on. And let's, uh, let's see if it'll let us uh, skip right to a certain frequency. You can also set your bandwidth uh, at that same spot. So let's uh, let's try this little handheld. So I'm on channel 15. And see this spike there. So yeah, that works as well. Yeah, there's there's a lot of free software out there, and then there's some that are uh, demo software, like the other one you saw that you can use in a free capacity, but the the, uh, the advanced features you pay a few dollars for. And uh, yeah, this is uh, all coming off this one little RTL SDR radio receiver pretty neat this is the tablet version so between the 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 radio and the tablet itself i have about 65 us dollars not a lot of money if you want to just a cheap radio and if you were to mount this on a stand or something it would look look pretty good with a 10 inch screen on it so yeah i'll probably show this uh, a little more in depth on a computer you can do even more on uh, on the computer side than even the tablet but the tablet gives you a lot of flexibility uh, and uh, being able to to be mobile it is really uh, really handy oh th this will also work on a raspberry pi too those really low cost computers uh, that you might have seen for kits and and things like that it runs on that it runs on mac uh, and like i said before the windows pcs as well so i just wanted to give this uh, a quick shout out if you're thinking about an SDR radio, check out this website here, rtl-sdr.com. Uh, they sell good radios. All right, until next time.